Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Darkness. Alright, we have successfully finished the fifth chapter of the game, and now it is time to go find the sixth. Damn it, I always fucking do that. If I Fuck that! Man, that shit is unsettling. Anyway, if I remember correctly, we need to go to the master bedroom. Which is this way. And we need to go to this dresser here. And, damn it, stop it! And use the reveal invisible spell. Under our alignment. And it should show us a thing that we can use. Yep. There's the keyhole. And now we can use the dresser key that we got way back in episode one to open it up. I think there's a gun in here. Yeah, a gun and a chapter page. Got the revolver, got the chapter page. And we get to go see Pius again. How's it going, buddy? Meldritch gods are a Our bitch, ain't they? Have located the heart, master. Before the month is out, it shall be ours. Do not underestimate the power of Mandarok. Your luck. Its power cannot be defined in terms you understand. For seven centuries, its force has corroded your universe. And during those seven, the denizens of the region have been either destroyed or driven away. There is nothing, no one to stop us. From collecting it. Mantra oh, there is. And its essence lie unprotected in the jungle. Then waste no more time. Retrieve it immediately. And pray to me that you do. I like pray to me. Time is running short. Swear to me! Help me. You are mere flesh and bone. There's not a whole lot of flesh there. He's bone, not flesh. Alright, well, let's go ahead and use this. I believe we're going back to the temple, and the I think influence this was is like incredible. Indiana Jones. From all walks of life to all parts of the world, their tendrils crept and wrought their insidious damage. Their prisons decayed constantly as their guardian's work continued. I discovered mention of a breakthrough in satellite radar imaging that revealed the presence of a hitherto unknown temple mound in the Angkor Thom region of Cambodia. An archaeologist of some repute, Dr. Edwin Lindsay, yep. took it upon himself to investigate the area. <laughs> this guy's all like Indiana Jones. To reveal the secrets of history. Except not as crazy. Unfortunately, the local government at the time thought differently. Requiring that Lindsay find other means into the country and to finance the expedition. He found these in Paul Augustine, a collector of rare items who professed an interest in the discovery and agreed to help. After a dysentery riddled two week venture, Lindsay and Augustine located the remains of an ancient city temple dating back to the 12th century. Man, we found some shit in here. Damn. Holy shit. Yes, this is it. It has to be. I hadn't expected the information to pan out, but here it is. The satellite data was correct. For years, I have searched for it without success. Here, all along, clouded from us beneath the great ancient's insidious magic. I am very pleased with your performance, Dr. Lindsay. Very pleased. In fact, so pleased that I would give you an early bonus. Also, Paul Augustine. It's Pius Augustus. I spoiled it, I'm sorry. But if that wasn't obvious to you, you're oh dumb. God! You are a scholar, Dr. Lindsay, not a warrior. In that regard, I have several centuries more experience than you. <laughs> He's not lying. Don't be a fool. Die quietly. And you will not suffer. 
You cannot escape me, Lindsay. This place will be your tomb, just as it is Mantarox. I don't even. Kill him. Oh, you fucking ass! I forgot about those things. Oh God, I repressed those from my memory for a reason. What do I have weapon-wise? Torch, pistol, kukri, shotgun. All right, we're whoa. Those are only really weak when they open up their fucking wing sheath thing. God, they just drain sanity like a motherfucker. Granted, I'm a doctor, so I have like a pretty strong brain. Oh God, what spell are you casting? I don't need you. Yeah, but I have a pr as a doctor, I have a pretty strong grip on s my sanity, so I'm not too worried. Open up your wings, asshole. I want to shoot you in the face. Yeah, like I've been ta- you know what, I just need to switch to the Kukri and kill these zombies. Oh, get off me. Oh, God. Dude, I love how- I love his finishing move with the Kukri, he just fucking throws it in there. Oh, why are you only weak when you're like that? <clears throat> I don't remember ever being this bad at combat in this game. By the way, I think if you let them, like, encase you in their fucking thing, they just put that scythe tail through your face and you die. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, can I? I can target their scythe tail. I didn't realize that. Let's try doing that. Ah, that's how you fucking deal with that thing. Yeah, that's right. Fucking now there's just zombies. I can handle zombies. Your head back. I don't appreciate that. So this is the temple from the uh, from the uh, first proper chapter of the game uh, from Elia. Obviously, Manorok's tomb is here. Um, Pius couldn't find his way back here because it was shrouded in whatever kooky ancient magic. Yep, bronze dust. Somebody stole a necklace. Hey, remember that? Yeah. Uh, Pius couldn't find his way back here, obviously, because the ancients had some kind of magical hold over it. Do I have something I can... I think I might have to brush that dust off. Unless there's a door over here or something. No. Alright, let's try brushing the dust off. Because the ancients had magic. Huh? Fuck my ass. What do I do? So he had to use this archaeologist dude to find his way back to this, uh, this temple. To get the heart of Manorok back from Elia. That's how I interpreted the story anyway. I might be wrong. Um, I don't remember what I am supposed to do here. Ah, that's... I knew I had to use this. I knew I had to use it somewhere in here. Here we go. Bronze bracelet. Use this on the bitch. And now a door opens up. See, so yeah, as you can see, the temple hasn't really changed much either from uh, back when we were here before. 
Uh, oh, we didn't have a screamy room with Maximilian. So you can see Elia, there's Kareem's statue, and there's Maximilian's statue, M. Royvis. None of the... I, I never understood why none of the characters, like even bother trying to question what they see in that room. They're just like, yeah, here's a flesh book. I'm gonna take it. It's whatevs. I always really like Deadwin Lindsay. He's a good character. Um, there's a couple other really good, cool characters in this, in the latter half of the game. Uh, it's only... The game's only 12 chapters long, so we're about halfway through it ish. God damn it. I did always think it was kind of weird, too, how, like, you retain your spells. Um, I'm not sure why Edwin Lindsay would know how to use magic. Though, he, because he had never been, like, expressly taught how to use magic. Like, I understand that the other people found some runes and stuff. Yeah, there's the puzzle we solved earlier in the game. The doors stay open. Uh, the biggest difference is it's become more overgrown. No, I hate these dimensions. Some bitch. Purple. No. Purple. Just get out of here. I don't really need to restore anything badly enough to hang out. Now, is there something over here? No. Anything over here? Yes! Metal bracelet. That will come in handy, I'm sure, for something. Oh, god damn it. Did it really have to be a thing? Oh, there's a barrier there. I need to use that destroy barrier spell, I think. I think this is how we do it? Oh, no. I'm gonna take that. And not worry about him. Peace out, bro. And this will open up the other door, I believe. When I put it on the statue. Edwin Lindsay don't care about no temple traps. He just runs right through that shit with no fear. Go ahead and heal real quick. You can cast the recover spell under the Uliath rune and it will store magic. But it restores the same amount of magic it takes to cast it, so it's kind of useless. And by kind of useless, I mean it's really fucking useless. I'm not even sure why they bothered. <laughs> Probably more of a joke than anything. Alright. Let's see what's on this side of the room. Yep, silver bracelet. Metal bracelet. Zero fucks given. Later. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna bother. His head's gone. He can't really get to me anymore. Oh, this is a bad. Oh, look, a room. Taking their heads off is generally a pretty solid route, because then they just kind of flail around like idiots, attacking each other even. I always played this game a lot like a regular survival horror title, where I didn't really use guns when I had access to them, because, you know, use guns in like a Resident Evil game, and then you really regret not having that ammo later. <laughs> Looks like the pie symbol. 
Damn it. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to finish him. Zombie fatality. Alright. Knock him out, too. Oh, boy. Got just all... Wow, okay. Just hit by that trap. What's over here? Closed door lying in shadow seals off the passageway. I guess I can't go that way right now. Aha! Uh, silver. <laughs> that should open up that door over there? No? Oh, I must need the necklace. Uh, let's try and make a spell. Where's that new rune we got? No. No. Protect, absorb, project item area, self area. This. That's probably it! Let's see if that dispels his barrier. No, oh, that fucking didn't do anything. There we go. That's what that does. All right. Today we learned. I was always pretty good at figuring out those spells back when I played this for the first time. Go ahead and heal up. And I'm also going to enchant my Kukri with Ulioth. But I need to do it. Shit! There we go. I love how it chants the runes every time. I always thought that was cool. This is Urgot! You can do it, in Lindsay! Oh god, get out of there, you can't do it. <laughs> I wonder if it retains damage, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I don't have enough magic to cast that. God damn it. Uh, it would appear he does retain damage. Let's go ahead and take that silver necklace. And I'm gonna finish off this monster. And I am going to call that an episode for now. Uh, when we pick up next time, we'll finish Edwin Lindsay's story. I really don't want these episodes to all run like 25 to 30 minutes. I think that's kind of silly. I was trying to finish a chapter in each episode, but that's becoming a little bit too much. So, catch us next time when we finish Edwin Lindsay's story. Thank you.